the comedy world, we call the last performer of the night the headliner. So give it up, keep that applause going for Mr. Todd Christman! <laughs> more delicious than beer? <laughs> a strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's a fact. And I know what the men are thinking right now. You're jealous. You're jealous that you're not secure enough with who you are to order something that is delectable and fruitlicious, <laughs> as opposed to something that tastes roughly like chlorinated rusty piss water. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I will drink a beer in certain social situations. But if I had my druthers, it would be Bahama Mamas and Tahiti Tingles all the way. With whipped cream. I'm in a personal crusade to make it okay for men to drink delicious drinks. And while we are at it, I like kittens quite a bit. The very first time we went into a pet store together, I actually had to warn my girlfriend Yes, my girlfriend. <laughs> that she, uh, she actually might want to consider waiting outside. We went in there, I was like, oh my god, what a cute puppy. Look at that bird, what unusual coloring. <laughs> oh, hi. What? What are you trying to get? Go get it. Did you get it? Oh my god. What is it? What'd you get? Oh, I'm gonna eat your face. I am, I'm gonna eat your face. Oh, don't look at me with those eyes. Somebody's a lover. Aren't you, you little cuddle monster? It's not a cat. <laughs> Sounds like it would be. It's not. I just love how big their eyes are when they're kittens, you know? They always look like they just witnessed a murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm not a big fan of. People who think dogs are smarter than cats. <laughs> really? Really? I'll hear the argument, well, if you're drowning in a pond, a dog will try to save you, but a cat will just sit there. Okay, well, if you're a big dog, sure, go ahead and save me. But these small, yippy dogs that try to go all hero on you make me want to puke. Hey, I'm drowning. You're a chihuahua. Either figure out how to call me an ambulance or stay the hell out of my way. It's not that a cat doesn't want to save you, it's just that they're like, I'm a cat, what the fuck am I gonna do? You know, it's not my fault you fell into the water like an idiot. Uh, you feed me and I, I love you and all, but uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe my next owner will be someone with a better sense of balance. You might say, okay, but a dog can do tricks. A cat could learn to do tricks if it wanted to. You know, but why would anyone want to learn to sit, roll over, and beg just to make a couple of assholes giggle? You know, a cat is like, fuck tricks, you do a trick for me, go clean up my shit. I <laughs> half of it in the litter box. Good boy, you get a hairball. <laughs> I'd have to man it up a little bit here. Uh, we're in the midst of football season, right? Yeah. I love football. Uh, football's the best sport there is, I think. Uh, but my favorite thing about football the taunting penalty. Get him. Get him. Hit him. Hurt him. Knock him down. Crush his body. Rip his head off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Don't make fun of him. I mean, don't belittle the guy. That's, that's inappropriate. 15 yards. Also, I'm going to tack on a pointing penalty because I saw you do that and that that is not nice. And look at him, look at him. Obviously his feelings are now hurt. And would you like it if someone did that to you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't like it, would you? <laughs> would you? No. Ten more yards. I have a touch of the road rage. Road rage is a funny thing to me because I can be walking somewhere and some idiot in a Hummer will turn right in front of me and I'll be like, kidding me? You couldn't wait two more seconds for me to cross the street, you son of a bitch, I hope you choke on your airbag. But then 10 minutes later, I could be driving home and some jag off will step into the crosswalk and pedestrian? Are you serious? Where could you possibly be going? We were really important to be in a car right now. Also, I would like to submit an open letter to cyclists. Dear cyclists, I hate you. Please stop.
stop cycling on my street. I don't drive on your bike path. And please don't give me that look when I pass you, like I'm the one who doesn't belong here. Now, it's not my fault that you prefer to get places slowly. And if you're riding your bike for exercise, then I hate you more. A, because I'm fat, and B, because go to the gym. You will not be in my way at the gym. Besides, maybe I'm going to the gym. Did you think about that, cyclist? I'm not, but I could be. And you know what? It's just like you, a complete stranger to assume that you've got me pegged. Just because the only muscle I'm working out is my Achilles tendon does not mean that I don't care about my body. So there you go, cyclist. And she thought you knew me. Move over. I'd actually like to finish up by doing something a little different. Um, I'd like to sing a song that I wrote. I, uh, I don't play an instrument. So unfortunately for all of us, this is going to have to be a cappella. Um, also, I don't really read or understand music. So the melody may be a bit borrowed. Um, but basically, I wanted to write a love song much in the tradition of Build Me Up Buttercup, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, um, you know, basically songs where the writer, for some inexplicable reason, decided to compare the subject of his affection to various foodstuffs. <laughs> this is called uh, My Little Pizza Crust. <laughs> Talent is my pepperoni, personality's my sausage, and God-given looks are my cheese. But I want crust, please. You're my crust. I'm down on my knees because you're a must. You're all I need to make my pizza whole. You can't have a wiener without a bun. Plain hamburger's fine, but not as fun. You gotta believe me, baby, you're the one. If I wanted anchovies, I'd get a fish. Green peppers simply aren't my wish. You're my one and only pizza dish. Because I want crust, please. You're my crust. I'm down on my knees cause you're a must You're all I need to make my pizza whole And if one day you happen to say That pizza's not your thing anymore you be my chicken bone, my chicken bone. I will call you on the phone. You pluck and gobble when we're all alone. But I won't make a wish on you until our pizza days are through. Babe, there just ain't nothing I won't do. So unless this time is ever past, I sure won't save my crust for last. Let's just hope it doesn't go too fast. Everybody! Cause I want crust, please. You're my crust. I'm down on my knees cause you're a must. You're all I need to make my pizza whole. Elton John and Ding, you're all I need to make my pizza whole. That's it for me, thank you.